Bixby Highway. Hey folks, here we are in the kitchen of Walter and Amanda Cole with our Get Real Gourmet, Walter. Thanks for being back here on Get Real with us. Welcome. We've been talking today about everything Irish. Mm -hmm. Nothing says Ireland better than a... Potato. <laughs> I'll bet that's what you're going to make today. It is. Oh, uh, wonderful. got two recipes we're going to do. We're going to do a loaded baked potato soup and oh, a loaded okay. baked potato dip. Oh, wow. And actually, we're going to start off with the loaded baked potato dip, and I'll okay. get you all to assist me. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, softened cream cheese. Okay. If I can get it open here. All right. I'll Which bet you didn't know soft. that I won the Betty Crocker Homemaker of Tomorrow in 19 <laughs> Did it's, you really? I did. What'd you make? It was a, it's a nationwide competition uh -huh. open to seniors in high school, and it's just, it's just, it's a written test. I said if they saw me now, they'd probably take it back, but... And how long ago was that, Linda? No, that was a long time ago. <laughs> wow, that was. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Thank you, What you're going to do, you're going to put your soft and creamy okay. cheese. If I can, uh, you're going to use uh, eight ounces of shredded Swiss cheese. If you could put, you, put that All in there for me. All of it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't be bashful, just dump it. Oh, I just have to do it like a little yeah, yeah. artsy way. Okay. Take you uh, two ounces of bacon bits, or you can use your regular uh, you chopped up bacon if you like. I'll do the bacon bits. Okay. And and use two green onions. And these are onion. beautiful. Oh, and they're, they're green, Linda. They yeah, are they are match. green. That's right. Yeah, I and then love we're going to use a cup of mayo. <gasps> and what we're going to do is we're going to mix all this up. Okay. Oh, Walter, it smells really good. Oh, wait till we warm it up. Mm -hmm. That's the trick. You got to warm this thing up. I love potatoes. I love French. Well, you can tell I do. Mashed potatoes. But but really, potatoes aren't always fattening, are they? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can bake it. It's not as bad, but uh, yeah, it's bad. It. What you're going to do is you're going to put it in the microwave okay. for two minutes. All right. And while that's going on, uh, we're going to talk about the loaded baked potato soup. Oh, I went wow. ahead and pre-made it a little bit. My uh, friend David Veridal, that's his favorite. He makes potato soup in there. He's there. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yes, well, we'll share favorite. some with him here in a little bit. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, can we get some before he does? Because there won't be any left if he eats it first. <laughs> oh, I've got plenty. Okay. Plenty. But what we're going, to, what I've done is uh, you cube up uh, roughly this this recipe calls for six potatoes, mm -hmm. and you cube it up. The way that I cube it up is I use a French fry cutter. Oh. French fry cut it and then mm -hmm. I cut it up in small chunks. It okay. saves a lot of time, especially if you're trying to cut up small mm -hmm. bites. Okay. And then you uh, put it into your uh, pot. And instead of, instead of boiling it in water, my trick is I boil it in chicken broth. Oh, and I okay. use chicken broth with roasted garlic. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and I didn't even know they had such a thing. Yeah, it comes it's, like oh, that? It's, it's good, it's good. Okay. Basically what you want to do is you want to use, uh, use four cans, boil it in it, and then uh, after you boil it in it, mm -hmm. then you take your potatoes out, leave your chicken broth in, in there, and then you use, uh, I use two cups of half and half, and oh. two cups of whipping cream, and you put some flour. This is gonna be good. You put some chicken, uh, some chicken uh, bouillon cubes, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, oh it, wow. is, it is good. Oh, so let me go sounds, ahead and get a... Sounds, sounds yummy. Good. Let me go ahead and get you some of that. Yeah. I can't wait. I, I love potatoes. Thing. Come here and smell this. Just, just smell it. Mm, Does that smell that good heavenly. or what? Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know I'm Irish, so I get the Are bigger, really? the bigger portion. Yes. <laughs> no potato famine here, guys. Ooh, Walter. Now, what makes it the loaded baked potato soup okay, is that you've got good. your condiments here. Mm -hmm. There's a spoon for you, Candy, okay. and a spoon for you. What you've got here is you've got your condiments. You've got your cheese. And what I recommend, if you if you trust me enough, of my okay, well, clean hands, of course. I was wondering if we were going to get the whole bowl. Put some in cheese here. in there. Okay. Put some onions. Oh. Now y'all do like onions and cheese, oh, yes. right? Yes. And yes. bacon, right? Yes, yes, right. absolutely. Make, make it pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. Okay. I'm going to taste. Good. Just try that out. Okay. While you, you got to get that. a potato, Linda. Oh yes, I will try. Mm. Mm, that is so good. It is it's good, really, isn't it? Really, really good. It is good. Wow. Very good. Why, why don't you go into business and start uh, delivering lunches around <laughs> Newport? Uh, my oh. current employer keeps me busy enough. <laughs> but after, uh, really this good. is the loaded baked potato dip here. I don't now, know what, if I want to leave this though. Oh, I we know. We don't need to leave it. You have to okay. taste the oven. Okay. What you do is you stir it up. <sighs> Looks yummy too. Yes, and I've got some crackers here. 
And we're going to have all these ingredients up on. Oh, yes. Okay. And what I'll do here, would you rather have wheat or Ritz? No, I want the Ritz. Ritz? Oh. Yes, wheat. Yeah. I'm so Ritzy. Wow, that looks very cheesy. Mm hmm. I'll give you yeah. a big okay. piece there. And what would you like to have? I'll have wheat. Mm. <laughs> is it cheesy, Linda? Mm. It is so good. There you go. Walter, that is really good. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Oh, well, I didn't burn your mouth. No, it didn't. It's <laughs> really good. I don't think I could pick which one I like the best. Well, one thing I have included this, this time is I've had a lot of people come up to me and give me a whole bunch of different questions. Mm -hmm. First thing is, mm -hmm. was they was like, do you really make this food? Well, you see today, mm -hmm. we went ahead and made it and you helped me out. And we do make the food because it's real food for real people. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, we, uh, I have a website. I had a lot of people ask me for the recipe or they wanted to give a recipe. So if you could, I've got a website. It's called Get Real Gourmet at oh. charter.net. Folks, we are so lucky to have with us again today our partnership picker, David McClary, whose roots go back to the old sod, Ireland, and he's going to be play, playing at Cosby in the Park, but today he's going to play an old Irish ballad, Shebag Shemore, which means... The Big Hill and the Little Hill. Our own David McClary. From all of us at the Cott County Partnership, thanks for letting us show you how we get real. And Candy and I want to leave you with a couple of Irish blessings. This one is for my dad, the finest Irishman I ever knew. May your thoughts be as glad as the shamrocks. May your heart be as light as a song. May each day bring you bright, happy hours that stay with you all year long. For each petal on the shamrock, this brings a wish your way. Good health, good luck, and happiness for today and every day. And may your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. So wherever you go and whatever you do, may the luck of the Irish be there with you. Slán Bye-bye.